Hello there, Internet. So, uh, Steve back with another Unity Asset Store review. Today we are going to be reviewing another Aquarius Max uh, asset. This one will be the Medieval Mega Pack Volume 2. Uh, this asset retails for 75 USD at the time of recording this. And let's just go down the, um, <clears throat> excuse me, the... Uh, the ratings overview and uh, go from there. So quality, this one definitely gets a pass. Um, a, so I, I've said this on a number of their other, uh, a number of the other Aquarius Max assets, but um, they they cram a lot of fidelity into a relatively uh, low low poly um you know low poly count low tris count um so it definitely gets that for that it also uh you'll see on the windows um the windows have an effect when you approach them it kind of blurs out the uh, metal parts of them so just keep that in mind and there's you know a handful of other nifty little tricks that they do that just up the quality on this one uh, modularity and workability is definitely a pass um they um there's a decent amount of modular pieces in here and clutter and stuff like that um I, I, I there's there i still have a couple of gripes here and there about some of the buildings and how i'd like to see more modularity with some individual buildings but um at the end of the day i i, I still I, I i still give it a pass uh sport and serviceability as always aquarius max does a great job of this um there's this one also does not require any dependencies so it's simple import um and then value uh yeah it it passes you get a lot of a lot of stuff in this uh pack for 75 bucks so um i do think that it is worth the value as well so let's hop in there are going to be uh three demo scenes we're going to go through and then um we'll do a quick run through of the um of the uh prefab uh structure or uh, the prefab you know folder hierarchy um i removed so these all had doors i did go ahead and just remove the doors so you could see inside of um a lot of these uh a lot of these um um buildings as we go inside of them so those metal pieces watch as we get close see how they kind of blur out um so that's 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 a nice addition stuff like that um so these ones have upstairs these these ones also have downstairs so multi-leveled uh buildings and stuff like that and there's a decent amount of buildings we'll go into a few more of them as we run around here uh there's a decent amount of like grading and grating g-r-a-t-e um and uh graveyard stuff like that so you can kind of see in there is a bunch of headstones and you know other pumpkin clutter and stuff like that um so and we'll we'll look at some of that clutter later on but every one of these buildings has interiors uh, it's a little bit messy on the level design there but yeah every one of them has interiors i'm not gonna go around and go inside of every single building um but uh just know that all of these buildings have uh have interiors so you can, ooh, you can kind of look over there and see that um there's other multi-tiered buildings there's some shop fronts and stuff here so like you know place it pop a you know character model there for shops bulletin boards and job boards stuff like that um up here real quick so again, you've got multi-leveled, uh, you know, buildings and stuff like that. Um, so then, so there's, there's, there's a decent amount of these house uh, prefabs. Unfortunately, the overwhelming majority of them are not mo like individually modularized, but um, that's all right. There it is. We'll hop over here. There we go. So this is, there's a few of these specialty buildings. There's like two chapels. Um, there's like two chapels, and then there are um, a couple of other things. 
There's some like keeps and stuff like that. Um, over here. So I'm gonna make that. So go over here. It's gonna be a little bit of a walk, so I do apologize. There we go. Now uh, there's, you know, the so those are the same like ramparts as were in a couple of the other ones, the Aquarius Max assets. But these sort of keeps are new. These are also unfortunately single meshes of memory serves. Um, so and then some building like this. So there's, you know, these are these are all if, again if memory serves. Unfortunately. Um, static meshes so but let's hop into uh doo -doo -doo. let's go into this demo next uh it's extended so then as you can see right away there are things like um uh, docs these are somewhat modularized again we'll, we'll dive into the um, prefabs folders in a little bit but so you can see kind of exactly what is and is not modularized um, but these same you know external ramparts and stuff like that um, again graveyard stuff different gates and grates um, these are all a lot of the same buildings, so I'm not going to really go into every single one of them, um, but just to give you an idea, um, you know, you can build some pretty dense uh, medieval urban areas with, you know, just the assets that you have available to you. Um, and then I think the... the, the um, yeah, so we'll actually hop out of this one and then we'll go because the peers are the big one. We'll go into here then. So, um, again, a lot of the same buildings, um, but there are a couple of unique ones in here. So, this tavern building is a pretty robust building, um, it's a multi leveled building. Um, and then we've got a windmill in here somewhere too that is kind of a worthwhile thing to point out but the rest of these buildings are all um, are all very much similar I think it was yeah this is the one I opened Open one of the the back door and one of the that must be the other one on there, right? Ah. One over here. Oh god. I am off my game today. Um, here we go. Alright, so Decently large space upstairs, and you know, ooh, ooh, that was disgusting. And then a little rafters area. So <clears throat> let's hop into the uh, prefabs folders and just sort of take a quick look. So we've got a few different barns. Again, all of these have interiors. Um, come on. So all have interiors. Um, these are just little sheds. Uh, do, do, do. So there's a lot of castle pieces. You can build some pretty complex castles with this particular asset. Um, I'm not going to open up every single one of the, the prefabs in here because there's just too many of them. But um, yeah, there's a, there's a decent amount of options when it comes to uh, uh, the castle prefabs and stuff. Um, so you've got a lot of options there. Um, and then uh, I think these were just, yeah, these are just more supplemental stuff. Um, 
And then we've got, uh, you know, crates and barrels. So obviously if you're making like an RPG or something, you need lots of that kind of crap. Um, so here are those dock pieces I mentioned. So the cement pieces you can see are not like really modular, right? Uh, it would have been nice if they were, but honestly, I'm not going to bemoan that. But then when you get into the actual, you know, pier portion of the docks, that's when you have a lot more modular freedom to, to really build out as long or as short or as far as you need. So there's definitely modularity there. Um, there's, there's a decent amount of, um, you know, clutter and stuff like that um you know you probably all know by now how much i love my love my clutter so there's that bulletin board and it's easy enough to stick shit on there um plenty of different you know pots and stuff like that um and then we've got uh food items we'll here real quick food items so a decent amount of food items you know crated food items as well for vendors and whatnot. Uh, I should actually be doing this too, shouldn't I? Um, and then interior, um, you know, so a few different beds, a few different bed options. Uh, you got, you can kind of see their individual books and then you've got stacks of books. So, excuse me, options there, even more books. Um, Plenty of bottles, stuff like that. Uh, got a few of these. Then these are all pretty decently done. And as you can see, the bookshelf, the actual books are independent. Um, and I think you should be able to. Yeah, there you go. So um, those are done in a way where you can open, up, open them up, you can animate them and stuff like that. So that's helpful uh, to, to, to So lots of these sorts of other like end tables and stuff like that, prefabs. Um, again, I'm not going to go through every single one of these because there are a lot of them. Um, it's also worth noting that, so for some of these, you'll see like books, books too, right? Bottles and jars, bottles and jars too, or furniture new sort of thing. Uh, that's because they do uh, aquarius max has updated this one in the past um so they do add stuff to some of their assets i i i i would hope they add to all their assets but i can only verify that they've added to some of them and i haven't seen the price on this one go up since then since they've added stuff so um i i think that on this one once you buy it you're safe I have never like had to pay more to get a new version of it or anything like that. So, um, yeah, I, I, I do think that, um, you know, if, if they continue to add stuff to it, then I definitely think that they're, um, that the value is even better than, you know, I mentioned before. Um, so obviously, you know, religious stuff, uh, decent amount of tables, um, and chairs and stuff like that for, you know, your, uh, your um, tavern and stuff like that. Um, then you got the actual throne type stuff. So thrones and the uh, keep torches and stuff like that. Um, so here's, here we've got a couple chests of so this one. I think one of these should be animatable. No, I honestly thought one of these was animatable. Um, so chimneys, got some currency stuff, stacks of currency and individual currencies, um, and then plenty of pumpkins, a couple of cute little jack-o'-lanterns there. So uh, plenty, plenty of um, plenty of clutter. So plenty of gate options. Um, so these are obviously, as you can see, modularized out in, you know, pretty decent ways. Um, on these ones, the doors are obviously separate pieces. So you can animate those. So that's good. Um, so we got a few awnings uh, so you can spruce up the houses a little bit. And then we get into the houses. So I am going to go through every one of these. You can see them. Um, so like... 
happened here? Like, I don't know why they put these ones together necessarily, um, but I don't know why that's a separate prefab, if I'm being honest. But because uh, the those are individual ones as well. So it's this one, and then it's this one. Uh, so yeah, I don't know why they group those together that seems kind of silly to me but um yeah these are like all of the doors are independent so they are animatable um so that's good on the multi-level ones uh they set up their colliders on the at least the majority of these they set up actual you know ramp colliders as you can see on the majority of them not on every single one of them um which i'm not sure why they didn't do it on all of them but it doesn't doesn't really matter if I'm being honest. Um, that's what we we're just in. So uh, again, interiors, um, doors are all animatable. Here. Sorry, just select the same ones now. <laughs> so here's one with, here's ones with basements then too. Um, or I should say raised. Uh, uh, ones, um, yeah. so this is the one with the basement. Um, this is one of the ones that we went into with the first person character controller. Uh, da -da. So, a few different ones here, just a bunch of different variants, but. Again, unfortunately, you can see a lot of these are just single pieces. I I would have preferred to have been given the individual like walls and ceilings and stuff so I can build just whatever the hell I want. But um, you know, I do still think that it is a valuable um, a valuable asset despite that. So let's see. So this is one that they have the, and this one just has an entrance down here. So there, there are definitely a decent amount of, um, of, uh, you know, buildings, building variants, stuff like that. Um, so that's that's why i'm not dinging it too hard on the um on the uh the um what's it called end of things the um the um <laughs> uh the modularity end of things so obviously with this you can you can swap out some of this um, so this one is one of the buildings I mentioned where it's a little more modular. This is a tavern that we went into. Um, you still don't get individual walls, but but it's 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 a little better than the other stuff. Um, oh yeah, so this is just a filled tavern. I don't know. It's one of the things that I would prefer to populate myself. Here's your windmills then too. So you have a different sided windmills essentially. Um, here, this will be on the other side. So uh, those are the houses. And then we've got a few different, you know, lighting options. So some candles, some lamps, some torches, fun stuff like that. And we've got uh, a ton of nature stuff. I'm not gonna go through every single one of these either. I'll just let them populate for a minute so you can see them down in the prefabs viewer. Um, and then, and then we've got the things like, five special buildings. Yeah. So uh, here, so this is the barracks that we were in before. Um, and then we've got the oh, another barracks, <laughs> and then we've got uh, a couple of religious uh, buildings, and then we've got the keep. Um, 
So this is another religious building. Then we've got the keep that we did go inside of this one in the other in the other uh, demo level as well. Um, so, so that's that is this asset. Um, like I said, there are a couple of modularity things here and there that I would have liked to have seen them do differently. But but at the end of the day, or or just make more modular. Like I I would like a way to be able to have like have players get up on top of this, for example. Uh, so give me the ability to build a staircase in there or something like that. Uh, but at the end of the day, I do think that it is a valuable package. I think the amount of stuff you get from it is um, is worth the money. And uh, yeah, I, I would recommend it. So let me know what you think in the comments. If you have this one, think differently, let me know. If you agree, let me know. Um, and I will see everyone in the next one.